Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear the Microsoft Teams cache. Now, when you're using Microsoft Teams, sometimes it just acts funny, it gets slow. Um, what I was doing actually probably made it worse. I was signing in and out of a developer account and then my corporate account and then back into my developer account and then back into my corporate account and I probably just, the cache probably just went nuts. But it's really easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do that now. You want to make sure you quit Microsoft Teams. So you want to go down here and right click on Teams and hit quit and that's going to shut down the Teams application. After you do that, you want to navigate to app data. So I'm just going to type in um, ATP DATA. Notice it's actually coming back with some suggestions there. But if I do that, it's going to take it to the application data folder within my um, within my computer, right? So this is on a Windows computer, Windows 10 to be specific. We'll go into Microsoft Teams. Actually, nope, that's not it. I'm going to go into Microsoft and then I'm going to go into Teams. And inside here, you're going to see a lot of stuff, right? So you got some caching here, you got some code cache, you got some blob storage. This is what I want you to do. I want you to click one time on one item and then Control A to select everything. Um, if you don't want to use the keyboard Control A, you can just right click and, um, uh, well, actually, you can't. So uh, there's a select all button here at the very top. Um, where you can just go ahead and say, hey, go ahead and select everything within this particular view. Um, I'll go ahead and clear that off of there. And, um, oh, goodness, what did I do? I changed the view somehow. So let's go back to my details. There we go. Um, so once you have everything selected, then I want you to right click. You can either delete, which will throw it in the recycle bin, which, meh, and I got one more step to go delete it, or you can just go in here and hit Shift Delete on your keyboard. And that will ask you if you want to permanently delete that cache from Microsoft Teams. I do want to permanently delete it. I don't want to go into the recycle bin. Um, you're going to do this frequently probably with Microsoft Teams. That's deleting the cache. It's going to go away. And then our job now is to sign back in to Microsoft Teams. When we sign back into Microsoft Teams, we should need to authenticate, but it will go ahead and kind of reset everything. Um, and we're basically close to being finished. Uh, for the cache reset. So let's go ahead and fire up Teams here again. So Microsoft Teams, that will go ahead and launch the application. Notice it's starting to build out that folder again um, and put all the files it needs to in order to manage Microsoft Teams. It is gonna make me sign in again, um, so uh, I won't, I'll spare you that on the, uh, on the video here. But uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.